This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I designed my dream Nokia phone and I'm so excited to show it to you guys today. Those of you who have been following me for a while understand just how much design means to me personally when it comes to choosing a mobile phone. It played a huge role in why I became an Nokia fan in the first place. And in my opinion, phone design peaked between 2010 and 2014, led mainly by Nokia during the Lumia era. Who can forget Nokia's fabula design language which made complex shapes look so simple and easy on the eyes, which is an incredibly difficult task to achieve as a designer. So I decided to create a couple of sketches showcasing my dream Nokia phone, which is obviously hugely inspired by Nokia phones of the past. And my friend Jermaine, whom you all know as concept creator, by the way, go and check out his YouTube channel and subscribe to it because he has amazing concept videos, has turned my rough sketches into stunning renders. Massive thanks to him for making this video a reality. He also has a new tech focused channel, which is definitely worth checking out. And I'm going to be leaving his work in the description down below. Please go and support him because his work is just fantastic. Now back to my concept, I decided to name it the Nokia NX. N for the legendary N-series devices of the past, and X in line with their current X-series of devices which signifies the future. Now ideally this would be a series focused on build quality, design and imaging, in a more youthful package compared to Nokia's current portfolio. For the overall form factor, for me it was between the 925 or 930 with their sandwich design, or the N9 and its later evolutions. You know, with a unibody design, a flat top and bottom, and rounded edges. And I decided to go with the latter since it removes all the gaps that you usually find between different elements and just looks super clean. Now for materials I went for an all aluminum build which was inspired by the Nokia E7 which still remains in my opinion one of the best most solidly built phones I've ever held. I'm also a fan of the cold metallic touch. I'm not opposed to polycarbonate plastic in any way and it definitely has a lot of advantages but public perception is quite important and the public perceives metal as being more premium. And using glass on anything other than the display is just downright dumb in my opinion. I did want to keep my concept slightly realistic so I used a matte black plastic finish on the top and bottom for antenna reasons. And I understand that might not be enough to actually get solid reception but I really dislike using antenna lines. Anyone remember the iPhone 6 with its hideous clown show on the back? I certainly do and I'm still not over it. You'll also notice that there's a headphone jack centered exactly at the top and I tried to keep the design as symmetrical as possible. So I also find the mic hole and the pinhole for the micro SD slot slash SIM card slot also symmetrical to each other on opposite ends. On the bottom you'll find the loudspeaker grill Lumia 1020 style and a lanyard port which is a very underrated feature that I find very useful and love having on my phones. On the right you'll find the standard Nokia setup so you have the volume worker keys at the top then there's a power button which integrates a fingerprint scanner in the middle and I also added a textured two-stage camera shutter key for nostalgia reasons. You should also have the ability to reprogram this button in case you want to use it for gaming or any other thing. Before I talk about the two most important features, here's a word from today's video sponsor. Let's face it, we all thought at least once about starting our own website online. Whether it's to showcase our passions to the world or to build an online business. And Squarespace makes this very simple. With Squarespace you can build your own website with ease thanks to their excellent custom templates. It's taken me less than an hour to build a site from scratch into something that I'm fairly proud of. I also I love how easy it is to build an online store, whether you're planning on selling a physical or a digital good or creating something unique for your community. And once you're ready to go live, Squarespace also provides the perfect analytic tools in order to understand exactly who your target audience is. Anyway, I'm barely scratching the surface here. I would highly recommend going to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. See if you like it and I'm sure you will and you can also go to squarespace.com slash Mr. Nokia to get 10% off your first purchase.
Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now moving on to the front, for the display size I went with a 6.3 inch display, which I think hits the sweet spot for today's smartphone market. It makes the device not overly large while still retaining plenty of screen real estate for multimedia purposes. For such a display size, a 1080p OLED panel would be just enough resolution, and obviously having a high refresh rate is quite important in today's market. The display glass needs to perfectly blend with the body of the phone, similar to what we've seen with the Nokia N9 and Lumia 930. So it curves very slightly at the edges in order to melt into the body. Ideally I'd want as much as possible of that glass to be a part of the display, but there's still a bit of a frame on top and under the display in order to protect against drops, as this is a Nokia after all and it needs to be durable. Now I left the best design element for me personally till the end, and that would have to be the camera bump. You guys know how much I despise unsymmetrical implementations, and this even includes Nokia Mobile's latest offerings with their step design for the camera plate. So I was debating whether I want to use a circular camera bump or a vertical strip similar to the N9 and the 8 Sirocco. And because my dream phone would have a killer camera setup, it would have to naturally protrude outside of the body. So using something like the Nokia 9's design or Lumia 930 wouldn't have been possible. I decided to go with a design style that was inspired by a never released Lumia concept, which was the Nokia McLaren. And I'm just in love with this implementation. It's a brilliant way of creating a camera bump that doesn't look like it was added last minute, especially with those cheap camera rings that you usually find on circular setups. No, here the metal back itself curves upwards, almost like the opening of a volcano. And the camera plate is glass which hides all the busy elements underneath. Pretty much unlike the unsymmetrical mishmash of shapes we currently see on modern smartphones, which in my opinion just look hideous. They're overstyled, oversized, and unsymmetrical, which is a terrible combination. And I wanted to implement a feature that I miss dearly on modern smartphones, and that would be Xenon Flash, but still keep the symmetrical design of the camera plate. So the flash goes right in the middle of my quad camera setup. I don't want to talk too heavily about the technical aspects of the camera, but you can expect a main camera that is as competent as possible, using either a custom sensor or best of what's currently available off the shelf. And that also goes for camera number two, which would be an ultra-wide camera. I would also add a monochrome sensor with similar specifications in order to capture more light and implement a feature similar to what the Nokia 9 PureView has but on a lighter scale by basically combining the output of multiple cameras into one image. And the fourth camera would be a competent zoom lens. The rest of the specs of the device don't really matter to me that much as long as it has high-end specs and achieves fantastic performance, battery life, and is future-proofed. For the software, as much as I would have loved to see Mego or even Windows Phone back, both are currently unrealistic options. So sadly, Android it is. I wouldn't keep it completely stock though, as I would at least expect to have a Nokia design language and look and feel to the software, at the very least. Anyway, what do you guys think of my dream Nokia phone? And would you love to see something like this become a reality? Would also love to hear which color you found your favorite out of what I've shown, or if you have another color that you would have liked to see implemented. And are there any design elements or features you would have liked to see mentioned or added? Share your thoughts with me in the comments down below. To see how the Nokia X30 stacks up against the 808 in terms of imaging, check out my video here. Or for my unboxing and impressions video of the latest Nokia T21 tablet, check out my video here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I shall see you in the next one.